everyone, welcome back and thank you so much for watching. For today's video, I have this makeup look for you guys, plus it's my first Valentine's Day look. I really hope you guys enjoy this video and if you want to see how I got this look right here, then please keep watching. Hey guys, so first I want to show you guys the products that I use to kind of prep my skin. My skin was feeling kind of dry and not looking that great. So I went in with two masks that I will be showing you right now just to prep my skin before I go in with the makeup. So the first one that I love using is this one right here. This is the Bosha Exfoliating Peel Gel. It looks like this and this is really nice it's kind of a lightweight peeling gel kind of like a chemical peel but not really because it's not that harsh and strong so basically what it's supposed to do is just take off that dead skin that you have on the surface and then it just firms and brightens the skin afterwards which is great so what I did with this is that I, I took a little bit and then I started moisturizing it on my dry skin so what it does is that you'll see see like it starts balling up on your skin which just means that you know all the dead skin and everything is just coming off it just balls up on your face which is pretty cool it looks like it's working so that's what it does I really really like this it's a quick and easy um, lightweight peel that you can do just at home and then you just wash off your face and then you're good to go you can moisturize and all of that but I went in with another uh, mask and this is the origins clear improvements active charcoal mask to clear pores so this is actually my favorite charcoal mask out there um, it's really great to kind of um, take out all the gunk out of your pores and just you know give you a nice bright skin at the end so I went in with this afterwards and usually I do this once or twice a week it just depends on how my skin is feeling so basically what I do with this is I take a small cloth and I run it under warm water and then start pressing it onto where you have your pores so mostly I have my pores right here on my cheeks and then I will go in with the mask so it's basically just going to extract all the dirt and the oils that were stuck in your pores so it's a really really great way to really clean your skin so yeah that's the one i use and then i leave it on for i don't know maybe like 10 to 15 minutes until it gets um dry and then i will just wash it off and it gives me a really nice soft hydrated skin so i absolutely love using these two in conjunction. So yeah, I just wanted to share that with you guys because I think skincare is really, really important. Before you go on and invest in like a $60, $70 foundation, it's very important that you invest in skincare. If you have good skin, your makeup will look great. So make sure you invest in some good skincare products like your staple products and yeah. So let's just move on to makeup now. So I'm going to be using this Dr. Brand Pores No More Primer to prime my face. This is one of my favorite primers. I'm just going to apply this onto my cheeks, well my face. So next for foundation I'm going to be using this Laura Mercier um, Silk Cream Oil Free Photo Edition Foundation. I've been really liking this foundation recently. It's just a really nice lightweight matte finish foundation and it still gives you a good coverage. So it's basically full coverage because it is meant for photos and videos and it looks great in pictures and videos and all of that. Next for concealer, I'm going to be using this Laura Mercier Secret Concealer for Under Eye and I have it in the shade 2.5. Um, I know I mentioned that I'm not a big fan of this concealer, but when I was testing it out, um, my under eyes were pretty dry at that time, which is why I didn't really like this foundation and, uh, well not the foundation, I mean the concealer. Um, and I thought that it's probably the concealer that's making my under eyes, you know, look so um wrinkly or dry and whatever but now that my under eyes are back to normal and they're nice and hydrated and stuff i am loving this concealer it has great coverage it doesn't look cakey anymore because my under eyes are good it's hydrated and it's not that dry um it's looking a lot better so i am really liking this concealer at the moment 
but if you have dry under eyes then you're not going to like this at all um, so yeah I'm just going to highlight wherever I usually highlight Next for my brows, I'm going to be using the same product. This is the Urban Decay Secret Service Eyeshadow, but I use it as a brow powder. So I'm just going to quickly fill in my brows and I will be right back. Okay, so brows are filled in. Now we can set the under eye. I'm going to be using the NYC Loose Face Powder. And lately, I get pretty oily, which is so weird because I've always had dry skin. So... I don't know what it is, but I'm just going to put some powder right here and I usually get oily on my cheeks and then a little bit on my nose. So hmm, I guess we are just going to do that. I'm not going to set my nose yet because I'm going to contour it with cream contour. So I will do that after. So next I'm just going to contour my nose. I'm going to take the LA Girl contouring shade in beautiful bronze so I know it looks kind of weird but that's okay because we are going to fix it um, I'm gonna take the Kat Von D shade and light palette now for the nose I'm taking a blending brush and this first color and a little bit of I'm going to take the MAC Studio Fix Powder, and this is in the shade NC25. Take that on a brush, and I'm just going to clean it up and brighten it, basically. Okay, now we can move on to the eyes. I'm going to be using the Anastasia Beverly Hills... I think this is the Shadow Couture Palette? Yeah. The Shadow Couture Palette, which looks like this. So first I'm going to take Soft Peach, just right here, and put this right into my crease. Now with the same brush I'm going to pick up Morocco and also put this into my crease. And if you want, you can also drag it at the bottom. Now I'm going to take more Morocco, but I'm also going to mix it in with Intense Gaze. Yeah, same thing, just pop this into the crease. Now for the lid, I'm going to take Chic. Yeah, this one right here. I'm going to take that. And pop this onto the lid. So I'm liking the lid color, but I'm not loving it. So I'm gonna use pink champagne. This is my favorite color from the palette. Yeah, you can totally skip that chic color that I used. I didn't really like it. Okay, just to blend, I'm going to take a little bit more of Morocco and Intense Gaze and just blend the colors together. Next, I'm going to switch brushes and take a denser brush and go into Fudge right here, which is a darker brown. And I'm going to put this onto the crease. So just like this just to deepen it up. Next for the brow bone highlight, I'm gonna take soft, soft speech. <laughs> I'm gonna take soft peach, and I'm just going to go right under here to highlight the brows. 
are done, I'm going to curl my lashes, put some mascara on, and then move on to falsies. For mascara, today I'm going to be using the Maybelline Big Shot Colossal Mascara. And I've been really loving this mascara. It's new and it's really, really good. So if you haven't tried it, I would say give it a try. It gives you so much volume and... Just looks so good. So, yeah, I don't know if you can see, but just with like that one coat of mascara, it did a really good job. So, for lashes, I'm gonna be using the usual <laughs> flutter lashes in the style Intoxicating. So got my lashes on, now we can move on to the lower lash line. I'm going to be using the blue like I mentioned earlier. This shade right here, it's called Azure. Azure. And I'm going to take that and put this on my lower lash line. And I'm also going to pick up that pink shade, Intense Gaze. And a little bit of Morocco, mix them two together like we did on the top and just smudge it right at the bottom here. And I'm taking the colors pretty far down because I want a smoky look. So you just basically want to smoke out the blue a little bit. So I'm going to take the blue one more time and pack it directly under the lash line one more time so that we have that faded blue and then we also have this intense blue just like that I'm just gonna coat my lower lashes with some mascara I'm gonna take a black liner this is by Pixi and I'm just going to line my upper waterline Okay, so I think we are pretty much done with the eyes. If we need to add anything, we'll just come back. But to finish up the face, I'm going to highlight with the Becca Champagne Pop Highlighter. And I'm going to take this brush right here. This is the Sephora number 74 brush. And I'm going to highlight... For blush today, I'm going to be going into the BH Cosmetics 10 color blush palette. And I'm going to pick up this shade right here. It's kind of like a mauve tone. I'm going to clean up my contour now. So I'm just going to take my translucent powder that I used and just clean up right underneath. So while that's kind of, you know, baking, we're just going to add some brow gel to the brows. And I'm using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Clear Brow Gel. Very important. I never used to use brow gel because I'm like, yeah, I don't really need it. My brows will stay in place. But once I started using it, I'm like, ah, you do make a difference. It just makes your brows look a lot more natural after you put on all those powders and everything. So going in with a brow gel is important. So we are almost done. Just going to do the lips really quickly. I'm going to keep it really neutral today. So I'm going to take the Kylie Cosmetics Candy K Lip Liner and I'm just going to line my lips. Don't mind the lip liner. I don't know. It just came out like this. I sharpened it. And this is what happened. So weird. Alright. And then I'm going to use the Milani Cosmetics Lipstick and Nude Creme number 26. I've been using this combination a lot lately. So yeah, 
I think that completes this look. Um, this is the final result. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video, this Valentine's Day video with this blue pop of color. Um, if you did like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I would really appreciate it and I will see you all in my next video.